It says, I'm waiting for you. Yo! <laughs> I kind of expected that, but still. Damn, that's loud. What's up guys, the names are Jack Neal, and welcome to The Cricket Man. This was the game I had planned on playing next, because it was also recommended to me, along with Misao. So, but I placed the vote before, saying which I should play first, Misao or The Cricket Man. And Misao won, obviously, so I played that, and I decided, why not play The Cricket Man after this? Now, let me tell you, I have watched people play this game, but me, I have personally never played it in my entire life. Never ever played it. I never touched the game. Once I was watching it, when I was watching other people play it, I was like, I was kind of too afraid to play it, but someone recommended it, and I was like, eh, why not? You people seem to enjoy me getting scared. Sadly, I will, sadly, you won't be able to see my face while that's happening. Ah, uh, oh well. But. I have the volume next to me just in case the volume is a little too loud and you won't be able to hear my voice. Because apparently there's no sound right now because no sound is being played. But my volume is up, don't worry. Oh yeah. Uh, also, if you see if you see me uh, upload this game on a Wednesday, then congrats. I have pre-recorded this and, well, posted it for you guys because, well... I love you all, but if you if you see me post it on a Thursday, then sadly, uh, I couldn't. Then sadly, I couldn't upload it on Wednesday. I was probably too busy with something. But this is pre-recorded because I didn't want to keep you guys waiting. If I if I'm able to upload it on Wednesday, then yes, I will be glad. If this is uploaded on Wednesday, yeah, I had time. I didn't leave you lovely people alone. If it's uploaded on Thursday, I'm sorry. There was probably a lot of college work to do on my first day. Oh, whatever. But when I make the next video, I'll probably tell you about my first college experience. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, I've babbled on for long enough. Let us start. This is a horror exploration game. There are these are there are scares and grotesque contexts, so be cautious. Be adhered to the following rules to avoid trouble. Do not reuse any resources from the game. Do not redistribute any game files. Do not make paywall videos of the game or take money for it. I wouldn't even dream of it. When making videos of the game, do not cut the end credits. I shall not. I will leave the end credits. I always do that. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by the use of this software. All right, then. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked ho little house. Well, in a crooked little house. I'm sorry, I did that wrong. I said that wrong. <laughs> sorry! I know these characters. Phew! Finally. Things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. David! Oh yeah, I, for I forgot... There's a sequel with the Sandman. I will be playing the sequel to Sandman because, well, there's my name in it. Yay. Also because it looked really awesome and I wanted to try it out myself. But I'll play the Cricket Man first. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I want to go with you guys. Uh, I'm going to raise the volume a little bit because it seems kind of low. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Do I... Oh, cool. I can move. Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. 
got Paul's license. Um, cupboards. A refrigerator. A stove. Fancy place you got here, David. A sink. An old TV. A box of tissues. An empty trash can. I want to know what that is. There's a large crack in the wall. Okay. A phone. Um. Oh, yay. I found, I found this. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. So what do I do? Do I... Oh! Computer. An old computer. Not many clothes inside. Is there stuff in the trash can? Nope. A washing machine. A wash basin. Don't want to go. Okay. Oh, I have to give Paul his license. I just remembered that. Whoops. Oh well. Hmm? What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him. You hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, alright? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Oh, the little chatter that you hear in the beginning is kind of cute. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. Oh, so that was Paul and Marion. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Okay, then. The phone is ringing! The phone! The phone is ringing! Oh my god, I have to stop. Somebody stop me. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Rude, did you just hang up? I should, I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Alright, into bed I go. Oh, I can actually go into bed. Man, I'm tired. Good night, David. Sobbing. Ugh. Really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Alright then. Apparently we're sleeping in the same clothes we wore in the day. Wait, it stopped. Alright then. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. I just. It's just. I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. 
it was the star. Is that water? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Mm hmm? Under the bed. Woo! Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Okay. Apparently, we gotta check under the bed. Can we check? We're not even gonna check under the bed? Okay. Oh, under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Found something. Got a script from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and we're writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Well, whatever. I'll get to bed. Bedtime. Time to sleep. Yay. <laughs> Not again. That sound still? Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. The phone is ringing. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. I am so sorry. I had to. <laughs> Let's answer the phone. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... Uh... No. No, I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her I said that. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Hiya, Paul. Paul? What is it? Yeah, yeah, uh... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah. This. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew. Thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah. To the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah. Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? S sorry I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Oh, so I walk now. No need to go in here. So which room? Mom. That sounded weird. It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. I'm making him a mom British. Good. You look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off. So I moved into this great room, with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime? You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? 
Oh, does she have like that Alzheimer's or something? I think it was called Alzheimer's. Does his mom have Alzheimer's? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? Ah, uh, it's like short-term memory loss or something? Uh, it's not short-term memory loss. It's like change in memory. So I think it's Alzheimer's. How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Ma, Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get him, rid of him! Now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. Oh, well, whoa, that's a guy. Whoops. Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you to be into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Are you suddenly remembering me? Really, Mom? Really, as soon as I leave? Uh, Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Oh, whoops. I'm reading in the wrong voice. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me! Remember? Mom! David, please. David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, but she said my... I said leave! Wow. Wow. Mrs. Hoover, Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the, bring the sedatives. Uh. Okay, so. Oh. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten many things. And she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may get well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. I might change the voice for David, because this is kind of hurting my throat a little bit. Back to my room. What was that? First off, um, do I just go into bed? No? What do I do? An old TV. Box of tissues. Cupboards. Refrigerator. What do I do? What do? What do? Can I go to sleep? What do I do? Oh, wait. I just noticed the chair moved. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize the chair moved. Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. 
Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all. Huh. So I move again? Okay. I was about to go to sleep, phone! I'm not singing the phone song again. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine. Thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She says she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright. See you. <clears throat> now are we sleeping? Oh. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Now we're going to bed. Okay. Um... Is that you, TV? Oh god, static. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Whoa! <laughs> it said sink. That, that didn't really creep me out as much, but it just typed boom, 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 and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> Gah! What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Let's check the sink. Wash basin. But it said sink. Wah! What do? Can I just go back to sleep? What do I do? What do? What do? It's obviously something in the bathroom. Um. What do? What do? It said sink. Oh, that sink. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He fought a crooked sixpence up against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Let us go to sleep. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Sleeping time. Kid? Is that a kid I hear? What kid will live in these beat up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. What was that? The fuck? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. What kind of bullshit exorcism going on here? Bullshit, spooky things. 
I got the coffee says you gotta be this room is really really strange with its voices and TVs turning on what is this uh hi Paul is David yeah what's up man you sound sleepy ha <laughs> ha yeah um what was up all last night I gotta ask you something is now okay yeah what do you know who used to live in this room nah I don't know you asked the landlady you curious about something Oops, oops, I read it in the wrong voice again. Whoop. Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I lost the landlady. Sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. We're off on another adventure! Far end. It's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. So to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just jump up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't, ah, I just can't remember the name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you'd like. N no there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. I just should have made, made her old lady like voice, but nah. <laughs> Man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Maybe I should save. Alright. What the? Um, now there's something in the w crack in the wall. Well, why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Yes. And I suspected. Got a brass key. Woo! This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where... The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But what I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted and killed me either. You seemed kind of freaked out about the stuff, though. To be honest. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. Was that what was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he when he was here? Now what you thinking about it, I'll call it a day. Let us go to sleep. Good night, little David. What is that? What? What? Why? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Is it the computer?
Do I go out? Can I check outside or something? Nope. Oh wait, maybe it's the phone. Nope. What is that? Are you sure it's not the phone? It's the box of tissues. Are you sure it's not the phone? Alright then. Just gonna check every... Ah, oh, whoops! Ah, it came from in here! Sorry, I skipped dialogue. Ha <laughs> ha, whoops, he said, ah, uh, it came from in here. Radio? What's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention, turning on by itself. Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's... an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Whoa! What? It says, I'm waiting for you. Yo! I kind of expected that, but still. Damn, that's loud. I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did? Too loud, hold on. Whoops. Um. Alright. What? Why did? How? And when did it? What? <gasps> Damn. I'm gonna raise the volume back up. So, you slept well you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Huh, wasn't expecting it. Don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds love nest. Ooh, Paul and Marion are married. That's so cute. Hey, why, you? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Sorry about that shoulder Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's just not about whose fault it is. I'm just ha not happy about it. Don't let it get, get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. Hmm. 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 I wonder who... No, I'm joking. I'm joking. If, if you guys didn't even know, I was thinking about Sophie from the Sandman, but then I realized, nope. <laughs> anyway. I'm just some clerk with a mom in a hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran away, ran from me. Shirley. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up the moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh. Huh. Well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going out to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know? Ooh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast's ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. That's a long-ass drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. 
Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Oh, the writing disappeared up there. I didn't even notice. Wow. And we're off on our little adventure. Prologue. David's room. End. Woo! Prologue is done. Save here. All right. Nice. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll just have to check. We can move. And we'll check in the next video. Sorry, guys, but at least I got the prologue to finish. Right? Right. Anyways. Yeah, yeah we'll continue in the next video. But, but... For now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!